So here we are, game number one of a best of three coming up as I remember to turn back on the sound of the game. Thank you all for tuning in live if you're watching on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, welcome. And yeah, we are going down on one of the new maps in the ladder pool, King Zhong Station. And spawning in the top left hand position as the blue Zerg player, it's Lambo. And his opponent down to the bottom right. The pink Zerg, Johnny Rico. Third CVZ in a row tonight so far. It seems that all the Zergs are coming out to play. And well, let's talk a little bit about King Sejong Station. Firstly, nice narrow entrance up into your main. You've got your natural base, which has got a relatively wide wall off, but I'm pretty sure is... Yeah, it might not be easy to wall off diagonally like that, but, yeah, you can maybe put... I'm trying to work this out now. I haven't had a chance to look at these new maps yet. You could probably do it. But, even if you did, you got this small little problem. Some rocks at the back of your natural base, which allows a second entrance in. Pretty cool. Going to be very, very interesting. Anyway, third base. Down to the left here. Uh, nice little crater in the middle, just prevents it from being too wide open. Instead, two distinct paths through. Um, and then, obviously, you've got a potential fourth over to the right here if you take down the rocks for quick entrance, or you can continue on round to the left. But these rocks at the back of your natural, they're going to be a very important thing to keep an eye on. Different openings from both of these two. Lambo opting for the hatchery first, whereas Johnny Rico went pool first into hatch. No gases yet for either of these two. Lambo going to be the first one to chuck that down. I know Rico is generally in favour of a gasless opening, opting to get a couple more drones out and use the queens mainly for defensive purposes. We'll see if he sticks to that. Other things to note is there are two watchtowers on this map. Quite a long way out of position, actually getting up to them is a bit of a nightmare. Exactly how you get up to these I'm slightly confused by. I don't think you can, can you actually get to them without taking down rocks? Hang on, this could be something a bit funky. Is it possible? to get to them without taking down rocks. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, okay. I'm being really dumb here. You can just walk up there. Never mind. Um, so yeah, two watchtowers out. They're a bit out of position, so there's probably some space in the middle that can't be seen. Um, but again, I've never seen anyone play on this map as of yet, so I don't know precisely how it's going to go. Looks like there was actually a bit of a texture error. There. Creep doesn't like spreading over that. Whatever it is. Anyway. I'm thinking too much about this and not talking enough about the awesome things that these two are doing. Lambo started up speed, he's kept one drone in gas, so this isn't going to be a super rush up into say, exceptionally fast Ling Bane Ling pressure or a quick rush up into Lair Tech or anything like that, it's just a trickle through. Very standard stuff, this speed predominantly on the field for defensive purposes and map control. Meanwhile Rico, no gases, as expected, going up to four queens. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on whether he does spread some creep. He does seem to like doing that a lot in ZVZ. Just a couple of creep tumors active pushing forward. It allows the queens to have more mobility. The spine crawler also is essential if you have gone gasless. Just to make sure nothing too bad can happen. Scouting information somewhat limited. Love this overlord placement by Rico. Um, putting it down to the left with your first overlord just keeps you a bit safer. You can actually see both gases then in the natural as well to know if you're going to be up against any mutilesque style play. And these are also completely safe from queens because of these rocks. Meanwhile, Nambo just checking out what's going on. Taking a look down this massive hole with light glowing out of it. The zergling just like on the edge there. Considering what he's done with his life and where he's going with it. Kind of like a pit of doom. You wouldn't want to get kicked down there. Anyway, third bases coming down from Lambo. None yet for Rico. Johnny Rico adding in his gases now though. Going up to four gases very early on. Evolution Chamber starting up for Lambo. His gases or additional gases now getting taken too. Uh, he's going to be going up to three for the moment. Really important to see whether he does take a fourth one or not. But he does have the third base. Rico adding in the road one, and it looks like, yep, this is possible to wall off with the spine, two queens, and of course, um, the double Evo plus road one. This prevents Lambo from getting in or doing any kind of damage, which is nice. 
Rico's also got his lair now on its way. And Lambo's getting plus one down. Rico probably going to be following up with that one, one upgrades from these double evolution chambers once they're finished. Third base for Lambo. This is huge and I'm very surprised that Rico doesn't have any overlord looking at any of the potential. Well, he's looking to his left base, but it's really unlikely that'll be a third because of the rocks. Interesting that he hasn't checked up here because Lambo's now getting a three, a free third base for a long time. Rico needs to find a way to shut that down or take his own. Otherwise, he's going to be running into problems, especially when he is going for a roach-heavy composition up against Lambo, who's doing the same. Not too much else, really, to talk about. They're both pretty similar in terms of production and income and tech. Biggest variations are just Rico with the plus one armor and Lambo with the additional hatchery. So the additional hatch does make quite a substantial difference to how the income is going to go, but also the production Lambo has available to him. And if Rico doesn't get his own third secured relatively quickly, is going to be running into some problems. But Lambo, he knows this is here immediately. Starts pestering, he's going to force a cancel. And this minor delay is incredibly frustrating. A transfuse even being used there to save that drone. Becomes the hatchery now though. Should be fairly safe. Johnny Rico pushing out more creep. Lambo adding in a couple of additional roaches. As well as road speed at a very similar time to Rico. Fractionally ahead. Drone count 53 on each side. Their incomes though should be slightly favouring Lambo. Just down to the fact that he's got better drone spread basically across the different bases. Rico oversaturated quite heavily at both bases meaning that he's not getting optimal mining out of those. Overseer getting a little scout at what's coming down. I'd imagine Lambo very happy with what he's seen so far, especially that third base timing. Rico only now identifying that that third base has been up for quite a while. Plus one armor coming down for Lambo's ground units as well as plus two missile attack. Johnny Rico does have one one already. If he starts two two up quickly, he'll keep a nice upgrade lead. That'll help him be more aggressive should he want to try and put on some pressure. Lambo and Rico for the moment are being exceptionally passive, neither risking an engagement quite yet, instead just wanting to bide their time and take the right choices as opposed to the rush choices. And that makes sense, Rico is without doubt a very macro orientated Zerg, whereas Lambo, I haven't cast as many of his games but is perfectly happy to sit back and just get out a sizable force. Army supply, Lambo getting ahead though. Fractionally ahead in overall supply. A lot of that's due to the third base being out sooner for him, giving him that extra economy and production to amass a greater force. And it should stay that way until Rico starts to stabilize, but if there aren't any trades, it doesn't really cause a problem. Both players are going to have 1 1 when this engagement goes down. Lambo's only a couple of seconds away from finishing that plus 1 carapace upgrade. That means the positioning is going to make a huge difference. Lambo going for the trade now. Johnny Rico catching a couple of roaches off to the side. The main engagement though favoring Lambo with a much better concave onto Johnny Rico's army. Rico takes down the rocks to buy himself a bit of time to come through. But it actually traps a fair few of Rico's own roaches. But this buys him more time back at home. Army supply is about 30 in favor of Lambo. And that could cause some problems for Rico if this game keeps on going. Because this push is looking scary now. The Queen's transfusers are going to have to be right on the money. The defender's advantage is going to have to do a lot. And Lambo, having been delayed because of that rock tower coming down, is cautiously advancing now. He has no concrete way of knowing that it's definitely a much larger army size for him. And Rico is rapidly closing that gap. The 2-2 two -two upgrade's also nearly done for Rico. If they kick in, that's a huge lead for him. But for the moment, it's Lambo with the advantage with the 2-1 upgrades. No trades coming down yet. Both players biding their time for the perfect engagement. Lambo got a better attack to the south, but to the north, Rico's got the advantage. He's losing quite a few of his roaches at the south, though. Both players now the 2-1 upgrades, plus 2 carapace, not yet kicking in for Johnny Rico. It's a very equal trade, but Lambo with the better positioning is getting a lot of ground here. Rico, though, has access to the quicker reinforcements. 
It's going to be very close, but it looks like with those reinforcements coming through, Johnny Rico should just be able to hold this off. Didn't lose really very much. Three drones. Other than that, these trades, incredibly similar. But now Rico takes the upgrade advantage. 2-1 up against 2-2. Two -two. A small difference, but small differences really can make a big change. Fourth base now getting taken by Lambo. Johnny Rico not attempting it yet. Probably feeling quite lucky. No, lucky's the wrong word. Probably feeling quite shaky from that last push because it was a really narrow hold. It could have gone either way. And Lambo nearly managed to get enough momentum. But positioning just paying out in the end. He walks to the back of the natural. One of the key characteristics of this map now coming into play. And Lambo walks straight up into a lot of roaches. Loses a couple there. Overall, the resources lost pretty much identical. 500 resources, nearly 16 minutes into the game. That sort of difference is basically you can write it off. They are in exactly the same spot. The drone count identical. Lambo with a 10 supply advantage, but in roaches that is hardly anything. Fourth base though, that could be a deciding thing. Because a fourth expansion up against a three base Zerg. If you've got that much of a lead on it, it's going to do masses. So it's really important that we keep a close watch on when Rico tries to secure up his fourth, which is going to be now. But more importantly, if Rico's able to keep that fourth. Both players adding in a sprinkling of Hydralisks. Just a couple into the mix to make sure that they've got the DPS output in order to really trade down with these roaches well. And the composition between the roaches and hydras, the balance of the two, is always going to make a big difference. Too many roaches, too few hydras, you don't have enough damage output. Too few roaches, your front line, the big tanks, they get taken out and then suddenly your hydras are defenseless and get slaughtered. So the balance is always very important. Rico adding in tunneling claws. This could lead to some nice little roach counter-attacks, some burrow roaches sneaking around the back for some good flanks. A lot of potential for both of these two right now. We're approaching 18 minutes into the game. Neither player getting a substantial lead. The biggest difference at the moment, which has really been the story of the game, is that Johnny Rico has a small upgrade lead, whereas Lambo has the base lead. These roaches moving in very aggressively now. They've got a good position. The fourth hatch is in trouble. Both sides engaging full on here. No cancel now available. But the prioritization has to be on the army. Rico backing away slightly to force his opponent into a slightly tighter choke to utilize that better attack arc. Lambo losing quite a lot now. The Hydralisks for Rico still alive. Where is Lambo's ones all exposed? That extra armor upgrade really useful against Hydras. Less so against the Roaches. And that's because Hydralisks have a much higher rate of fire but lower damage per hit, which means the additional armor has a bigger effect on their damage output. Rico also got a few Burrowed Roaches here, attempting to get some damage down, but an Overseer spies the retreat coming down from them and reveals all. They quickly unburrow, go into full escape mode, but Rico rallying up a lot more units. Both players near maxed, both players with their fourth base up, both players within two drones of each other. This is a ridiculously close ZVZ that is all down to the positioning and the composition as opposed to any monstrous leads on either side. The fights that these two decide to take are massive. Rico knows that walking in here would be suicide. There's a much better concave available there for the defender. So he's coming up the side. He wants to catch small groups of units off guard but has to be very aware that a lot of units could be coming from other angles and this is exactly what Lambo was looking for. Big concave here, both players equal on upgrades. It's gonna come down to the compositions. Quite a few of Rico's roaches trapped at the back, not getting involved in this fight. It's allowing Lambo to take the engagement. Rico getting crushed in this fight. He's reinforcing with a lot more roaches. The retreat inevitable. Lambo and Johnny Rico both rallying a lot more roaches out across this map. Both players taking significant losses and amazingly they're still within 400 resources lost of each other. Neither player getting 
a notable lead or disadvantage so far in this game and that makes it awesome to watch because this really is an open field either player could win right now and it's gonna come down to fights like the one we just saw but they're equal on both sides both getting minor better trades and then throwing away that advantage Lambo now looking to get a little bit of harassment down able to harass from the high ground if he wants to and start picking away a couple of drones but roaches and hydras gonna be putting an end to that infestation pit is down for Lambo whereas Rico does not yet have his own starting it up now though both players gonna be looking for hive not only for the 3-3 three, three upgrades but also for the hive tech which can be very powerful a couple of ultralisks to tank up damage magnificent Lambo being the aggressor at the moment Rico trying to find any way that he can get some little win an attempt by Lambo to come into the back of the natural but spine crawl is going to be stopping that whereas the fourth base vulnerable for Rico for now the positioning as always absolute key to this game few defensive spines coming down now from Johnny Rico Lambo not having to contend with any aggression as of yet those burrowed roaches have stopped being aggressive for now not doing too much else pathogen glands dying up for both players Lambo with about 10 second lead there again negligible in terms of the advantage you're getting from that at this late stage couple more burrowed roaches sneaking by the watchtower sneaky sneaky through don't want to take any big risks they want to try and get some drone kills Lambo up by one worker at the moment. That is how insanely close this is. And for the first time this game, Rico is the one attempting to take an upgrade lead, uh, a base lead rather, with the fifth now in production. This head up trade will favor Lambo because the Burrowed Roaches is actually a good number of units there. So Rico doesn't want to trade as of yet. A lot of spines get canceled in order to go to 208 of 200. But this could catch Lambo off guard. The important thing is that Rico doesn't engage. He can get some good damage here. He's focusing down the Queen or should focus down the Queen. But Lambo wants to trade. He knows he's got a greater army out on the field. And so any engagement would be great for him if he can get it. Infestors coming down on both sides, a much better concave though, and the first Infestor for Lambo gets that fungal growth out, Rico forced to retreat. Meanwhile, the third base of Lambo taking some decent damage, but a fungal is going to shut down a lot of these roaches. They burrow up, but a fungal growth does of course reveal hidden units too. But Rico, straight for the main, wants to get a couple more worker kills. Those 20 worker kills will be very decisive in how this game goes, because neither player has a substantial bank. Their continued income, critical to making things work. A few more roaches also in here, getting just a couple more worker kills. Rico able to resupply, or should be able to resupply quicker, but for them now, we see Lambo actually with the better overall supply. And a lot of that is in army, he's 30 army supply up. He's got more army supply available to him because of the lower drone count. And that will make the following defense for Rico a lot tougher. Lambo also has access to a couple more fungal growths I believe. Actually no he's got one less. So the fungal growths as always going to be an absolute critical component to how this goes. Are we going to actually manage to see Lambo come back from this? He has to win the next few trades. Waiting for that investor could see a couple of nice fungals. The positioning the fungal growth is as always going to be critical. Johnny Rico can get a very nice trade here. Gets a massive fungal growth there. Needs to keep them coming though. Better concave for Rico. Better fungals for Rico at the moment. Trapping a lot of those units out of position to engage. Pushing in heavily. Resupplying as well. But Rico winning this engagement. Very nicely. A couple of infested Terrans there. Just keeping that hatchery. One more shot onto it will kill it it's gonna be so close and it is able to go down a hero hydralisk there but Rico with his fifth base up is looking pretty good and regardless there were a couple of roaches counter-attacking and Lambo just knew that there was no way he would come back from that so congratulations to Johnny Rico who goes 1-0 up in this best of three